Hey y'all, it's Zach. Today is July 7th, and for those of y'all that didn't know, which I didn't know until my wife told me, today is National Mac and Cheese Day. So tonight we're going to be making some mac and cheese. Now my wife and kids both wanted me to make a copycat Panera Bread mac and cheese. For those of y'all who don't know what Panera Bread is, it's a little... Restaurant. Yeah, a little Sorry. fancy sandwich shop. And apparently they have good mac and cheese. So they wanted me to make one, so I found a recipe, and knowing what I know about the Instant Pot, I tweaked it. Uh, for the Instant Pot, so now I think we have a pretty close rendition of, of um, mac and cheese from Panera Bread. So, we're going to start with these large seashells. I did confirm with my daughter that they use large seashells, am I right? Yes. Okay, so I've got a box of, it's a 16 ounce box of these large seashells. I'm going to go ahead and I'll let you do it. All of it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just put it in Okay, I've got four cups of chicken stock. Whenever I can substitute stock or broth for water, I will. So I've got four cups. And with pasta, you wanna make sure you get them wet. You want them almost submerged. So four cups to a 16 ounce thing of pasta is right. Set it to seal, and we're gonna pressure cook for five minutes. Now, what else I've got is I've got some mild cheddar cheese, some white cheddar cheese. Um, I'm only use about two cups. Now, this is almost two cups. I tried to find a block so I could grate it myself, but they didn't have it. Um, I've got some Dijon mustard. I've got some black pepper, and I've got some American cheese. We use about four or five slices of this. So, all right, we're gonna let it do its thing. We're gonna let it go for five minutes, and we'll be back. So we did five minutes high pressure and then a five minute natural release and then we flip the switch and it's perfect. Again, you wanna make sure your, your pasta is covered and wet. So while that's mm. hot, I'm gonna go ahead and put in about two cups of white cheddar cheese and get that melted in there. If you need to turn the saute function back on to keep it hot, go ahead, but it's on the keep warm setting. So keep stirring that. Now I've got, I took uh, about five slices of this uh, American cheese and I just tore it half just to make it easy to melt. So I'm gonna go ahead and start while she's doing that. Oh, it's melting. Yeah, it is melting. Still melting good? It's gonna melt that cheese in there and make it really good. Mm, that's delicious. That delicious. Okay. Now, go ahead and pour in a cup of milk. I didn't put that in the original part of the video because I didn't want to pour it and have it sitting out. Um, so we do add a cup of milk to it. Can I stir that in? Okay, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Add a little bit more teaspoon, not a big deal. Okay. Mm. I right, asked get the salt and pepper. Okay. And then just a little salt and pepper, you know, to taste, however you like it. Okay. We're gonna get some bowls and we're gonna do a taste test. So we'll be back. All right, so it looks good. We're gonna do a taste test real quick. 
Does it taste like Panera Bread? Mm -hmm. Mac and cheese? Mm -hmm. Alright folks, here you go. Copycat Panera Bread Mac and Cheese. So, happy National Mac and Cheese Day. We'll see you all next time.